I lurk under the bed. He does it to his head. In the shadows, lying in wait. Here she comes. She's a virgin. Walking up to her fate. I pull her down beneath. She goes with a scream. Oh. It's been so long since we talked I'm not crazy, I'm just scared Can't see a thing, is it seen in your face? I miss you, I don't know what to do I have to tell you That I Tell me what happened in there I got lost in recreation Get a hold of your imagination I'm concerned that I've broken you Let me go back in Nobody does this better than I do In the shadows he goes Darkness of his mind Leaving no detail behind She drowned in her own blood Right there on the wall this girl was trying to hide She went for the bed, but he was already well dead He saw her, her and he dragged her She got too far away out Killed her and cared about her too This isn't a stranger, so it's someone she knew He cared too much Weird way of showing him Looking at boyfriends, ex-boyfriends, co-workers, even a guy who bags the groceries. I've got one clean set of fingerprints on the knife handle. I'm assuming they're yours. Sorry. There's more, but it won't hold up as evidence. Dermal tissue diseased or damaged. The killer was sick, and it shows in the prints. Shows in the prints. Something is strange. The victim fought back when she, she was attacked. Out. She scratched all she could, not an she ounce of she blood. Could. The killer is human. Why the hell doesn't he bleed? Wait just a sec. Take a look at her face. He, he was, was trying, trying to pull, pull the skin, skin back. back. Like he was removing a mask. It's 
1.17 a.m. We are in Greenwood, Delaware. My name is Will Graham, and you are alive. If you can hear me, you're alive. I don't feel alive. Will Graham, are you alive? Well, it's late and I'm freezing. Why not call Jack or the police? Why me? I called you because I don't know if what I saw was real. Then let's prove it. In the shadows they go. In the shadows they fly. I grabbed her arm as she left. A layer of skin from the tissue came off like a glove. That's the key. Must be why she doesn't bleed. Don't ask me where it is, though. I saw it, and that's all I know. Could be an infection. Could be leprosy. Her eyes were discolored. She looked malnourished. I think her liver's shutting down. None of this explains why she mutilated a woman's face because she thought it was... A mask. This girl is in to kill her. She's desperate and afraid. She can't see faces. She felt unstable. Her world of unfamiliarity is testing her sanity. She didn't mean to kill. She isn't aware she did it. I'm not sure that all adds up. Then why did she come back? To convince herself she didn't. Is that why you came back? Failed at his task. Just so we're clear on that. I know I didn't kill a bathlabo. I just want to know who did. Because she's just a kid. You should know you're the subject of speculation at the bureau. What are they speculating? The Jack, Jack was shooting to the, the edge. edge. And now, now I'm pushing, pushing myself over. mind I got trapped in my design I was in wolf trapped and suddenly I lost time you saw yourself killing her did you not a moment passed removed her mask without a second thought I feel like I'm seeing a ghost clinging to me with no intent on letting go is it this killer that's haunting you or yourself I guess it's a little of both we can't accept our realities. You still have your sanity. She is real and has are you. Dr. Sutcliffe didn't find anything wrong. What happens in my head still beyond my comprehension. In the shadows of your mind, your ability to empathize. You're experiencing doubt, but you'll find your way out. It's a darkness I want to unrun. Tell me you won't publish anything about me. Only posthumously. Your death or mine. Whichever comes first. Have you considered Cotard syndrome? It's a rare delusional disorder in which a person believes he or she is dead. Talking about the killer or me? The killer. The inability to identify others is associated with Cotard syndrome. It's a misfiring in the areas of the brain which recognize faces, and also in the amygdala, which adds emotion to those recognitions. Even those closest to her could seem like imposters. She reached out for help, someone she loved, someone she trusted. She felt betrayed, became violent. She can't trust anything or anyone she once knew to be trustworthy. Her mental illness won't let her. Have you ever felt that way, Will? In the shadows, darkness of my mind Skeletons get in line And in my dreams they reside Garrett Jacobov's whispers in my ear Live 
living dead girls tell me their fears Time melts and drips through my fingers as I lose touch I'm doing what I need to, I won't give up